You are watching Kolska Jones. Hi and welcome back. And today we've got the Jumper T12. This is without a doubt the best jumper yet. Hi, welcome back to Kolska Jones. So today I've got the Jumper T12. Now I wasn't going to review this and I said in a video that I wasn't when I did a video for the Q7 with the eye range module in the back. But I also did a video the other week for transmitters under £80 and I said you couldn't get a Tyrannis for that. Well now you can. This was on special offer at Bangor at the minute and it was £60. And that was including shipping in seven, inside seven days. For that it's fantastic value. So let me just go through the aesthetics of it first. So it is very similar to the V2, not the Plus. Except it's in this, I don't know what colour it looks on there, but it's like a coffee cream colour, very light coffee cream colour. Now what I do think, I've had this in bits because this came in mode 2 and I swapped the gimbal though. Every other jumper I've had I can never get a stick with enough tension on. You can never get them to spring like this. These are adjustable. Inside they actually have adjustment now. Before it was always at the end of the adjustment you couldn't adjust them. These were only just as halfway when I've got it and I've got plenty of stuff. I could take them stronger. I could make them stronger than this. So for me that's much better. The other thing I must say is I've got the V2 Plus with the Hall Effect gimbals. These feel a million times better than them ones. Whether I've got, is it because the tension's right on the sticks, but they look, they're different inside. These gimbals are different than they are in the V2 and certainly in the T8SG version 1. These are much better gimbals. These feel much, much better in my hands. The switches also feel better on this. Whether they are upgraded, I don't know, in my imagination. But the whole thing just feels nice in my hand. So, let's just turn it on. You long press it. As you can see, I've got the sound file on mine. So, all I did was put the sound file, put an SD card, I just used an old 4 gig SD card and put the sound files on. And I'm also going to put some pictures on and stuff and finish modding it up. But, I just put the sound files on just to show you do work. The speaker's horrible, it sounds terrible as you probably heard. But apart from that, it, it's a great transmitter. This, this really is, to me, the best jumper. Definitely the best jumper. Now, it doesn't run on deviation. Now, that is going to be an issue to some people because... Not all the models that you can fly on deviation are supported on this. And that's because this software is something that's up upgraded by Jumpers. You have to go onto Jumpers website to look for it. I've been on to OpenTXs and they don't support this. At the minute they don't anyway. Whether they will or not, I don't know. And obviously, deviation had nightly builds that other people messed around with and updated it. And that's why you can now fly the bugs on it. I'm not saying you'll never be able to. I probably think you will be able to, but it might take a bit of time for that to happen. At the minute it doesn't. So it comes with the battery card carrier uh, for four AAs. I haven't got it in there, as you can see. I have get it out actually. It's quite tight in here, but it's not too bad. So I have an 852s battery in there, and that lasts for ages. I've run the other jumpers on these as well. It's just much easier. I don't like messing around with with um, AA batteries if I can avoid it. And in there, you can see. That is the SD card, SD card holder there, and that's where you put your, that's how you do firmware updates and whatever else you need to do on this. You can connect it straight up there, to the PC, and you've got a trainer port. I do wish they'd start moving onto a micro USB or USB-C, but this is really old fashioned to use. From a setting up point of view, it's exactly the same as setting up any single Tyrannis transmitter. With the only difference in here, it's obviously multi. So if you long press that button, it takes you into the radio setup, then you can skip through your pages. And then if you short press that button, it sends you into your model menu. And then, sorry, wrong button, you can skip through your pages. So the only difference on this is, if you look, I've got it set up for my Aurora 90. And where it would normally have, let's go down to here. So on a Tyrannis you'd have internal module would be on, obviously make sure that's set to off, and then you've got multi. If you change your multi, you can change that multi to, as you can see, Hubsan, Fly Sky, Custom, DSM, Devo, Fimer, they're all on here. But as I say, not as many as are supported by the deviation software at present. So if we just come back out of there, just make sure this is still bound, still set up. 
imagine I haven't knocked this off and change it. Let's put it back on to this one. Put it back onto FR Sky. So you've got FR Sky. Hit enter. Go down. Select D8. D16. It needs to be on D8 for this one. That I'm going to show you. I'm just exit all the way back. So binding is exactly the same. So I've got this bound to my Aurora 90. Just let me connect it up. Plug it in for you. So this is bound to my Aurora 90. I have my arm switch on there. I have arm on there. I also have a uh, top position I have set for Ryzen. I've then got angle mode. And then I've got air. And then I haven't at the minute, but I normally have my buzzer set on there. So it really is easy to set up. It's as easy as going into your mixer. So I'll just show you quickly how to set one up very easily before you put it on beat of flight to set your switches up. So one sharp press again. Oops, sorry. Exit out of that. Need to go across until you get to mixers. So I'll just set a switch that was not set up. So switch to channel 8, if I was using channel 8, simply hit the button, select a switch I want. So hit enter on there, flick down the switch you want to set it to. So I'll set it to that switch, as you can see. Exit all the way out, and that switch will be set up in beta flight. So in beta flight, all you would do is go into movie sliders so you can get these into positions you want to do. It's as simple as that. It really is easy to program, it's easier, much much easier to program than the deviation for putting two and three position switches on. It's not easy on a deviation, on the deviation version, so on the jumper V2, it's not as easy to have three position switches set up as it is on this. So this is, this is without a doubt the best jumper, we are, without any doubt. I wasn't going to buy it, I'm so glad I did. Um, I never had a problem, I, the only reason I wasn't going to buy it is because I, I had a, something that did exactly the same. But I wanted to buy this to review it to see if it was any good and it is fantastic and I would have no hesitation in telling people to buy this. Check Banggood out because it was £60. I don't know if the price has gone up today. I haven't checked. It was a week or two ago, a week ago when I ordered it. It came yesterday. Like I said, check it out because it's a bargain at that price. Thanks very much for watching. Have a fantastic day and get some flying done. Press start. Thanks very much for watching this video, I hope you enjoyed it, if you do please hit the like button and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching.